Hi there everyone, it's Jakko here. In this episode I'd like to take a look at smoothing. Now smoothing is a 3D term uh, that is often misunderstood and kind of misused sometimes, especially among those who are new to 3D modeling. So it's really important to understand uh, what those two types of smoothing really means. So I'd like to explain it to you as best as I can. Now um, we can see that we have two objects here and you can see that they look kind of different. That that this object looks like uh, the corners are actually really kind of smooth and that it's like a, that the shape itself is smooth and then you can see that this looks kind of uh, like the shape itself is not smooth but the shading appears smooth so from a distance it might look like not so bad but when we look closer we can see that yeah we can see these sharp corners sharp edges here even though even though the you know the, the way how light behaves it's kind of it's kind of smooth so when we turn on the wireframe we can kind of see that that in this object um, those corners are rounded and and these are really hard transitions here now what's going on here is that this object is subdivisional object and those who don't know what it means i'm gonna go back to this later in a specific tutorial uh, but subdivisional surface means that the geometry itself is smooth so so actually the shape itself the silhouette itself is smooth so when we look at from from the up angle for example we can actually see that the shape itself the very geometry is rounded smooth so we sometimes say that yes we turn on turbo smooth in 3ds max or we turn on sub patching in light wave and that means that we are adding geometry we are multiplying the geometry and thus we are making it appear more smooth making the very object the very geometry smooth now this guy over here this however is different. This is what I call smooth shaded object. And we can actually adjust this in Lightwave. If we hit F5, we can see that we have smoothing turned on. And without smoothing, the object appears this way. So we can see these faceted edges in here. And when we turn on the smoothing, we, we get this and then we can adjust the threshold. And this threshold will control how the smoothing is applied across edges. And this threshold will eventually mean that what is the angle that we are going to try to apply the smoothing over. So uh, if we go over 90, it's going to go or even over 90 degrees angles and appears this way. And yeah, it doesn't really look that great to be honest. But um, I'm going to go back to this later. So this has got to do about things called vertex normals. And, and this is all about the way how it's shaded. So this smoothing means shading smoothing. It has nothing to do with the geometry smoothing which is appears on this side. So if we go this side and I'm just gonna select all and I'm, I'm gonna hit the tab key which turns off the sub patch mode in light wave. So we can see that now we have completely different looking objects. We have this weird kind of a really square type object with very sharp corners and and this looks, uh, yes, it looks very different. And now if I again select all of these and hit tab key to turn on the sub patch mode in light wave, it will do basically the same thing what Max would do if we turn on turbo smoothing and it will sort of preview, give us a preview of when subdivisional surfaces are applied to this, when it's been subdivided on the fly. And we can do all kinds of things. We can, for example, hit Ctrl and D, which will freeze that and now it's turned to normal polygonal type of object and now it has that basically the subdivisional surfaces are now being applied to it and now we cannot go back to the original shape so this is what's called subdivisional modeling in light wave and it's a very great way to make organic shapes but again this is completely different concepts from the shading smoothing was what I discussed earlier so I'm gonna go back to these two concepts very in very detail and gonna describe and show you how you can use them to your advantage so yes I hope you enjoy and I'll see you soon this was Jakko bye bye